how's it going? So today I am out at Blackstrap Provincial Park just by myself. It is the middle of the day. I actually took the day off today. I have a couple of appointments, so I figured it was easier just to take the day off. And then it was also, it gave me the chance to sneak out here to Blackstrap and do a little bit of a solo ride. And I'm looking forward to it because they did, a, the Spoken Sport Trail crew, they did some work on the trail two and a half men. So they added some new bridges or they, I guess they replaced some bridges with some newer ones. And um, I'm just curious to see how that is. Uh, also looking forward to just being out here alone. Uh, left the family at home. Um, wife's working and the kids are at school. So I thought I could get out here and, uh, you know, not have to worry about, uh, you know, riding behind my kids and making sure everything's okay. So it'll be good to get out of here and and uh, get a good ride in. The uh, the last time I came out here solo, where I the similar sentiment where I just wanted to get out and ride by myself and you know not have to worry about the kids. I uh, came out here on my warm up lap on uh, Moose Knuckle, ended up going over the bars and smoked my uh, the bike ended up smoking me in the face and I ended up getting five stitches on my lips. So hopefully nothing like that happens here today. Hopefully it's just a good ride and you know everything goes well. So I guess I'll get geared up here and uh, head up to the top. I'm going to ride Moose Knuckle first, so I'm going to head up there and uh, use that as my warm-up run again, I guess. So for this ride I decided to wear my full face helmet. Even though I've owned it for over a year, I've never actually worn it. I bought it for when we take trips to the mountains or bike parks, but because of the global pandemic, we cancelled our trips last year so I never got to use it. I figured I should wear it a few times to see how I like riding with it. And honestly, I didn't mind wearing it at all. I didn't really find it restrictive while riding. Granted, it was only 17 degrees celsius, so I may have different feelings when it's hotter outside. And one thing I noticed wearing it. I definitely felt more confident, which was a good thing. Since my crash last season that resulted in 5 stitches to my face, I've definitely lost some of my confidence. After a few laps of moose knuckle, I made my way south and climbed up for the dogs, 
which would take me to the newest trail, m and It's a fairly short trail, but it's steep, letting you pick up a lot of speed on the way down. For the dogs has a progression section that has two skinnies and a teeter-totter, one after another. I'm terrible at skinnies, and it took me multiple times to clean all three in a row. Black Trail Two and a Half Man is not far from here, so I made my way up there next. I was looking forward to seeing the modifications the Spoken Sport Trail crew made to it over the last few weeks.
I have to get back to Saskatoon for a late afternoon appointment, so it was time to head back to the truck and get going. Even though it was a pretty windy day, that didn't take away from an awesome solo ride. And being a weekday, I pretty much had the trails to myself. And as a bonus, I didn't have a big time crash. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video, and remember to hit that like button. And why don't you take a second and see if you're subscribed to my channel. I think something like 90% of the people who watch my videos aren't actually subscribers. So if you like what you see, please subscribe and click that notification bell so you know when new videos are posted. So until next time, stay safe and take it easy.